Are your browser tabs peppered with YouTube videos that I'm going to watch later? Like this one. Oh, that's a handsome guy. I'm going to show you how to use three tools that helps you archive those videos to use for later. And your computer's going to like you because you're not going to have all those tabs open with YouTube videos. Let's get it. Most people doing this have to go up to the top of the URL and click copy. Hey, he is handsome. Paste the URL into a transcription service just like this. Now that you have the transcript, you got to copy it. Then you go into a Google Doc and you got to copy it in there. But now you still got to read it, watch it, whatever it is you do. Let me show you the three tools and how we do it. Now you create a Google Sheet with at least three columns. Over here, we're going to have the trigger that basically says, okay, NQ, transcribe, complete. And then over here in the middle, we're going to put our YouTube URL. And then over here, we're going to categorize which of these YouTube videos, what it goes for. When we're ready to transcribe, we click transcribe. Once we click transcribe, we go into N8N. Over here, we go into a switcher. Basically, this goes and chooses the category of what we chose before. It says, okay, where do we want to store this? Let's just go with paid ads up here. This goes into the database and says, okay, does this URL, URL already exist for a YouTube video? Cool. If it doesn't already exist, we go and transcribe the YouTube video, go in here and store the transcripts in the database and update the Google Sheet to be executed. If it does already exist, we go delete the row because we don't need duplicates and it ends the workflow. It does it for every single category so that way we're concise. Now let's get to the fun part. You can actually use your chat widget of sort of choice right here and talk to an AI agent that actually knows everything in those YouTube videos about SEO, paid ads, WordPress, or have a whole different chat widget, uh, a chat agent that talks to any one of these. And that chat agent isn't complicated. It literally just does this. So that way when you save those YouTube videos, you can have the transcript and you can actually go into a chat and say, hey, I remember this video that talked about blah, blah, blah. I want to be able to do that now when you're ready to go do that. You don't have to read it. You don't have to do anything like that. You can go reference it. But if you have an AI agent like what we did before, before you can kind of see how it just went down to the database, that main agent. But we had one that went off to its own agent. Now, if you create your own agent for that specific topic, you can use different workflows to go talk to that agent. So now you can just execute it based off of all these different workflows to go talk to that social media agent if you need it in a different use case. That's the 2025 method of watching a YouTube video. You're welcome.